And one book I read was called uh, Predictable Success. And I think the big, big takeaway from me was to see companies in certain stages of a life cycle, just like you're, you see your kid in a life cycle, yep. you know, that their toddler, then they get to the teenager and then they move out. And it's the same way in a business. And for you to be able to back up and go, all right, where am I? But the requirements of you as an owner change yes. in those cycles as That's well. That's exactly right. And it's funny because I love that book. Um, I actually, I developed a similar like stages of growth. And then I found his book and I was like, <laughs> wow, okay. So other people are thinking about this too. Yeah. Um, but it is true that like what a startup business needs is not what a growth business needs. And we kind no. of in intuitively know that, but in but. terms of what you need to focus on as a business owner, sometimes it's hard to change out of that growth mode or out of that, that startup mode into that growth mode. Yeah. This is, so that's when people say what got you here won't right. get you there. That's when you have to continually start to add or figure out how to onboard people that can supplement your weak areas. Well, and, and there are a whole bunch of startup CEOs who love the chaos and like quick decision making and, you know, uh, intensity of that startup phase. Yeah. And uh, the growth phase, and especially when you get to the stabilization phase, is actually about removing a lot of that chaos. It's, yeah. it's about creating more stability and more re repeatability. Right. And um, if you feel like being a business owner is about that intensity and that chaos, then you just keep screwing it up. Like you, your team is starting to create systems and you just go break them all the time because right. that doesn't, that feels safe to them, but that doesn't feel safe to me. Right. Amazing. Right? <laughs>